Thunderstorms. Why do they happen? What really goes on up there? When the sky turns dark, the air feels heavy, and the hairs on your neck stand on end. Why does the sky throw such a tantrum? As wild as it may sound, thunderstorms can tower higher than 60,000 feet, taller than many jetliners will ever fly. It all begins with the sun. As it rises, it bakes the Earth's surface, warming the air closest to the ground. Warm air is lighter than cold air, so it wants to rise, like a bubble drifting upward through water. Above it, especially in the spring and early summer, colder air often lingers in the upper atmosphere. This contrast is why we consider it storm season. The colder the air aloft, the more unstable the atmosphere can become. That instability fuels powerful updrafts and with them, the potential for severe weather. The first visible sign of this process is the humble cumulus cloud. Small, puffy, and innocent looking. These clouds signal that the atmosphere is beginning to destabilize. And if the ingredients are right, ample moisture, lift, and instability, these clouds won't stay small for long. They grow up into cumulus congestus, or towering cumulus. These clouds search upward rapidly, their tops crisp and textured as rising air slams into colder layers above. Often called cauliflower clouds, they look almost solid against the sky. They may produce brief rain showers, or even a distant rumble of thunder, but at this stage, it's mostly just a tease. As growth continues, the cloud eventually reaches the equilibrium level, the ceiling of the weather-filled atmosphere. Now it has become a cumulonimbus cloud, Latin for rain bearer. The storm is alive, but not fully mature. Darkening skies, heavy rain, frequent lightning, and small hail can all occur as the updraft punches through the freezing level high above the ground. With enough instability, the storm evolves even further into the most dramatic form, the Cumulonimbus Incus, a thunderstorm crowned with an anvil, illuminated by lightning that crawls and writhes across the cloud's underside. When wind shear sculpts the updraft just right, the storm may begin to rotate, becoming a supercell, the most powerful and potentially tornadic type of thunderstorm. But no storm lasts forever. Eventually, the balance between rising warm air and sinking cool air collapses. The storm chokes itself off, its once mighty updrafts replaced by sinking air and fading rain. What remains is a ghostly imprint in the sky, a reminder of the incredible forces that briefly turned the atmosphere into chaos. <laughs>